The contemplation of a serene Japanese garden is enhanced by a bowl of matcha green tea. Isis is visiting Matsue in Shimane Prefecture, where the culture of the tea ceremony has been treasured for centuries. Japanese first encountered tea around 1200 years ago. Later, alongside the development of Zen Buddhism, a ritualized celebration of tea developed called Chanoyu, or the Way of Tea. When I first came to Japan, one of my Japanese friends invited me over to her house for Japanese green tea ceremony. I was very surprised at how much they prepared for me. The cup, the tea itself, the snacks, even the picture on the wall. They prepared so much just for me. In Journeys in Japan, Isis, who studied Chanoyu for about two years, will experience the deep-rooted tea culture of Matsue. She'll see how tea is a part of daily life as a guest in a local's home. Are you supposed to drink it very quickly? For the tea-adoring locals, there is also an appreciation of the sweets that are served alongside tea. Isis will meet a master wagashi craftsman who makes beautiful sweets. breaks over Lake Shinji. Using metal baskets on long poles, fishermen scoop up Shijimi freshwater clams. Shimane Prefecture, Matsue City. Look at this beautiful scenery. A huge lake and behind that wonderful mountains. But on this Lake Shinji, you can see many boats and fishermen. This is a famous scene here in Matsue City in the early mornings. They're picking up clams, very delicious. Matsue, a castle town some 600 kilometers west of Tokyo, spreads out along the eastern shores of Lake Shinji. The castle, which is in the town center, was built some 400 years ago. It has withstood time with only minor renovations. A popular tourist attraction is the leisurely boat trip around the moat. Passengers can get off at three points for sightseeing. Matsue is often called the city of water. It is also known for its culture of enjoying the tea ceremony. Isis visits Geshoji Temple. It's the family temple of the hereditary Matsue lords. This is the grave of Matsudaira Fumai, who cherished the tea ceremony. Fondly called Fumaiko locally, he established his own style of the tea ceremony. People aspired to his elegant way of life, and that was how the enduring tea culture took root here. Isis will experience matcha tea and wagashi in this setting. They bring you always Japanese snack and the Japanese powder green tea. You would have to drink this after you've eaten the snack because the tea is quite bitter, but the snack is very sweet.
Mmm. This is almost green tea flavored as well. Mmm. It's different from much many green teas because it has this foam layer on the top. This is the style of making this Japanese powder green tea. Very creamy. Let's try it. Mmm. A lot of people say it's bitter, but it's just real, very rich tea. That's what it tastes like. And enjoy the bowl. Isis will get to enjoy views of Matsue from the boat. Thank you very much. This is very Japanese to sit on the ground. There's no seats in here. It's just very low right next to the water and you sit on the ground with a warm blanket. Oh, I can just use this. Ah, yay! <laughs> very warm. The moat tour cuts through the city, but the scenery looks rural. Look how close these trees are coming to this boat. It's almost like we're going to be covered with this nature. Completely different than from seeing it outside. Wow. Isis is on her way to a special kimono shop. This is a place where we can rent it. Great chance. I'm really excited. Here it is. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I like so many colors. I really can't decide. <laughs> this is very cute, too. She gets to choose from 30 types of kimono. I really don't know what's good and what's not good. <laughs> so how do I look? The reason why I'm wearing such a beautiful Japanese kimono is because I'm about to go to a Japanese green tea specialty store. It's going to be really great because wearing this, I get to join a Japanese tea ceremony. It's very exciting. Hello. Hello. Wow. This is all green tea. This shop, founded about 130 years ago, carries many types of tea and the implements for making and drinking it. This is called sencha, and this is where it's pretty much whatever is in a tea bag. They sell it like this. It's very common now, but you would put this into the tea bowl with hot water and then drink it like that. However, powder tea is the special stuff. Like this. And just by opening this, the smell is completely different. Grindstones are used to finely powder the tea leaves. They rotate at a slow speed so as not to release heat, which would affect flavor and aroma. 
This slow process means only 60 grams can be produced per hour. There are various types of matcha, depending on the provenance of the leaves and the blend. And of course, different prices reflect grade. Isis will taste the priciest. I'll try it now. This is the high quality version. Mmm. It's quite sweeter than I thought it would be. Definitely not bitter at all. Good job. <laughs> really, really, this is so good. Wow. The shop also has a Chashitsu tea room, where Isis is received with a heightened hospitality established by Matsudaira Fumai. In Japanese tea ceremony, the master would prepare you a piece of calligraphy, this ornament here, and these flowers, and these three things, as well as everything he's prepared, like the cup and the tea itself, the pot that he boils the water in, everything is prepared for his guest, which today is me. All these details, he thought of me and prepared it for me. That hospitality, that respect for his guest, is very important here in Japanese tea ceremony. The tea ceremony host is university professor Hiroyuki Katayama. He wants to keep alive the Fumai tradition for future generations. This way of greeting with bald fists on the tatami mats is a remnant of samurai etiquette. Chanayu was favored by the samurai as a way to develop mental discipline. の手のひらに乗せていただきます。そしてあの、店主に対してあの、感謝の気持ち。ちょっとこう位置で押します。それで一口召し上がってください。お加減いかがでございましょうか。大変結構でございます。Koicha, a rich and thick style, is served to honor important guests. I've been in Japan quite a long time, and I've done tea ceremony many, many times. But something this thick, this flavor is so, so such a deep flavor. It is bitter, but it's very creamy and at the same time sweet. So it's just completely different from anything I've had before. The first guest savors a sip of the viscous tea. Then he or she wipes the bowl's rim with paper and passes the bowl to the next guest. <laughs> I 
一つの味わいを持って心を同じくするということで日本語で「同じ釜の飯を食う」ってあの一緒に飲食をすることによって親近感が湧いたり連帯感が同じ仲間なんだっていう連帯感が湧きますね。そういうい意味であのおこい茶の回しの実というのは効果があると思います。そうなフォーエルクネクトスピーポー、人とのつながりが深めるために素晴らしいと思います。<笑>もうその日その時、もういかにしてお客様に喜んでいただけるか、もうこれに尽きると思います。それが佐藤の本質でございます。はい、see、that's really nice。Thank you. 素敵です。Isis comes to an area south of the castle where there are many temples. It's also home to many wagashi sweets shops. Matsudaira Fumai's devotion to the tea ceremony helped nurture the development of Wagashi. Matsue is the number one consumer of Wagashi sweets per household in Japan. Many wagashi sold at this venerable shop were developed back in Matsudaira Fumai's day when he commissioned sweets. I heard that Fumaiko, he loved Japanese tea ceremony snacks. Yes. And his favorite was sold here. Yeah.、Uh, this is、uh, Yamakawa. Please. Wow.、Oh. Yamakawa was named by Fumai for the mountains and rivers. The pink expresses autumn leaves, and the white, the rapids. Very sweet. Right, good. It's so delicious. It's really good and just melts in your mouth. What is this made out of? It's, It's made、soft. of sugar,、mm. rice flour.、Mm -hmm. That's simple. That's simple, very simple. Did Fumaiko like any other Japanese sweets? Yes, a very famous one is Wakakusa, young grass. Wakakusa embodies the essence of spring when meadows are covered in fresh grass. What's inside of this? It's a kind of mochi. It's a Japanese specialty. I'll try it. Mmm. How do you like it? Mmm. -hmm. Good. Thank you very much. It's very sweet,、mm -hmm. and in the middle of it, it's very. It has that rice taste to it, but it's just so soft and then crunchy at the same time. That was very good. I like that. Wagashi sweets are designed to reflect the four seasons. This is shaped after a fall blooming chrysanthemum. This expresses the autumn burning of the leaves. Takeshi Sonoyama has been making wagashi sweets for 18 years, and he'll show Isis how to make one. They'll be making momiji maple leaf shapes. Like this. They're made of steamed white azuki beans, which are mashed and blended with sugar and other ingredients, and colored with edible dye. Okay. Taigari. でちょっと外して包んでいきます親指親指押す感じ OK It's not closing <笑>閉まらないですね OK? OK 
るオッケーオッケーオッケーのつまみます三箇所 Hard オッケー強く強く弱く OK OK よいしょ OK 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 It takes at least three years to be able to achieve a perfect shape. He shows Isis his toolkit. There's so many. What is this for? Oh, to make it round like that. He sculpts rose petals with the tip of a spoon. Rose. Oh, this looks interesting okay. too. <laughs> With his delicate skill, he can make 200 wagashi pieces per hour. Wagashi are miniature works of art that express the seasons and also taste wonderful. Isis comes to a residential area. Japanese green tea is only reserved for special ceremonies but here in Matsue it's a completely different story compared to other regions even in everyday lifestyle powdered green tea is used we're just gonna go into this house and see exactly what that's all about hello nice to meet you hi Kazumi Shimizu often shares tea with her neighbors. ここでテーブルで立てるのはあ、うんこれあ、ポットです。With a pot, it's a regular hot pot. Matcha is such a part of life here that people prepare it casually. これは模様がお客様の方で飲む時はちょっとこちらの方でお上がりになってください。The Chano Yu spirit is very much alive in Matsue. うん、うん、美味しい。It's very good. うん。一杯で割れですのでお茶碗を取り替えてあの次はじゃああのお茶碗あのお茶碗で取り替えます。Really? Each time different? <笑> wow. <笑> Then maybe I'll try this one here. <笑> She offers Isis a second bowl. So the children, they would love it so much that after doing it themselves, they drink it. In Matsue, matcha is adored by people of all ages. Tea appreciation takes many forms. Smells so good already. Kiko, いい匂いがしますね。あれはね、そこでね、あのお茶を炊いて、お茶を。あ、キャンドル？お茶の葉っぱ。おお。
ちょっともう温かいですよ触ってみてあっいや it's really warm いい匂いが very good smell あのお茶もよく飲みますけど香りもよく鑑賞してますこの自宅の中にもカズミ treasures bowls that have been passed down for generations これはねあの夏夏にこれで涼,、ね、涼しそうです夏はこれであの立てた後氷を入れて冷たくして飲みますはいこれをお見せしたかったの This is your favorite. これ見てくださいお雛様あ,あの女の子のお祭りのあのお茶碗ですお雛様の This tea bowl is used only on March 3rd to celebrate Hina Matsuri or Girls Day In Matsue, matcha tea has always been closely linked to the lives of the people. I thought I really understood Japanese culture, especially with tea, but this is my first time coming to Matsue City, and it really showed me a different way of appreciating. Speaking with other people, enjoying the nature, everything in general, just because of the Japanese tea ceremony. The snacks, drinking the really thick green tea, how delicate and how specific it was. It was beautiful and really gave me a new way of looking at Japan completely. I'm really grateful for that and look forward to more. To reach Matsue, there are buses from Yonago and Izumo airports. The places visited on this journey all surround Matsue Castle. The Tanabe Museum of Art specializes in tea ceremony utensils. Here you can see the tea bowls and utensils collected and even made by Matsudaira Fumai. With prior booking, a curator will explain the exhibits in Japanese only. The tour boat on Lake Shinji takes about an hour. There are also sunset cruises.